Hey everyone, we're going to see how to correctly uninstall Couchbase server from a Mac computer. So a lot of you might be wondering, well, why would you want to un uninstall Couchbase server? Uh, well, there's a number of reasons. Maybe maybe you did an installation that didn't go so well. Maybe you're doing an upgrade. Um, who knows the situation? Um, there, th It does come up. Uh, I, I myself even need to uninstall it fully sometimes before reinstalling um, or for prototyping or whatever I'm doing. But that's beyond the beyond the subject of this particular video. We just want to see how to uninstall it correctly so that way uh, we can proceed along with our day. Uh, so I am running Couchbase server locally on my machine right now. Before we try to un uninstall it, we want to stop it. So let's go ahead and quit it. Um, sometimes you have to click it twice. I don't know if I clicked it properly. Um, but it is stopped currently. So typically on a Mac, what you would do is you would open up your applications directory uh, and you would delete the application. Uh, and a lot of times that would be enough. Uh, but for Couchbase server, if you did that, there still is settings files inside of your application or inside of your library directory of your home directory. And that includes um, data. Uh, it's basically where Couchbase saves everything. Um, so if I were to reinstall Couchbase on my Mac right now, it would be as if I never had uninstalled it. Everything that I once had would still be there. So instead what we have to do is we have to use our terminal and we have to delete a few things. Uh, so we want to go to our library. And inside of our library there's possibly two things to delete. The first of which would be from your application support directory. So if you if you navigate into application support, you should have a Couchbase directory. So we're going to say RM, RF, so recursive, and we're going to say Couchbase. And what you want to do is you want to delete this whole directory. So it's deleted. Uh, that may not be the only thing to delete, though. So if you go back to the root of your library, uh, there is another directory. So inside of caches, you want to make sure that there's no cache data left behind. Uh, so we can say rm rf com dot couchbase and you can see that there for me there is no cache apple will occasionally delete the cache on its own um, but if you want to speed up the process go ahead and delete it manually but it'll be com couchbase uh, and then server uh, and you can go ahead and remove it so at this point in time couchbase is completely removed from your mac so these Deleting from your from your library is a necessary step for Mac, um, but it's not a difficult one, and it's definitely not time-consuming at all.